This logo is dangerous and inconvenient, but I sure do love AMD products. What have I done? <laughs> Gosh. I'm, I'm sure most of you know what that quote is from. Obviously, Talladega Nights when Ricky Bobby puts the Fig Newton sticker across the windshield. And I, I had this idea for a couple weeks now, and I had to do it. This is hilarious to me. I love it. This is, and I mean, the logo doesn't look that bad, honestly. I was just staring at the poster up there and kind of taping it out. I taped it out within 15, 20 minutes, painted it, peeled all the tape, and uh, here we are. This is great. What's up everyone? Welcome back to a, another video. Today, as you've probably seen by the title and thumbnail, we are uh, changing out the windshield right here. And uh, if you just saw the intro, you will know why I have AMD painted on the windshield. Like I said, I think it's pretty funny. And uh, this is kind of my way of saying thank you to these guys for the generosity of uh, hooking us up here with a brand new windshield along with some other goodies and parts which you will see in a future video. So uh, I'm gonna flip the camera around here and kind of explain why we decided to change this windshield. So I'm pretty sure this is the uh, original one from the car. There is some markings down there. You can see the Chrysler logo, but I'm not totally sure. Haven't dug into it at all. Um, but you can see all around the border here, there is tons of uh, bubbling in the lamination. It, uh, it's gotten worse ever since I've been driving it. Uh, at first it was just kind of in the corners and it's just been growing. And then especially on the driver's side, you can see all these scratches here. The blue is now covering up a bunch, but you can see there, there. And uh, it's not so bad on the other side, but when driving, uh, especially at night, uh, lights and signs reflect and there's a glare and they kind of just streak up and down. So it's hard to see out of. So right here in the AMD box, we have a brand new clear windshield. I wanted to go with a clear one rather than a tint, uh, just because I think the tint looks, I don't wanna say too modern, but I, I just prefer the clear one on the older cars. I think it looks, uh, looks a lot better. So I'm excited to get on it. Like I said, thank you to AMD for making this happen. Um, I'm super pumped. And uh, we're gonna get started with pulling off the trim here. We're gonna cut the seal and then we're gonna take the glass out. My goal for this video is to create a uh, kind of a how-to step-by-step, really thorough, in-detail video because I could not find any video online uh, that would show you how to remove a Mopar A-body windshield in detail and step-by-step. -step. So fingers crossed there's no rust underneath that channel and we're gonna get started on that right now. All right, so we just got all the trim off. You can see it set down over there. My dad here is gonna explain how we got it off. This is the uh, trim removal tool. You gotta get it in the groove here, and you gotta hook it on the tab, and as you pull it, if you pull it down like that, it releases the tension on there, just like that. Because it's a spring tab, right? That's it. And uh, this here is the seal for the windshield, and uh, I'm starting to pull this out, and I think once we get this stripped down, you can go ahead and pry this top piece, and then the windshield should uh, push right out. So what we are doing right now is uh, kind of peeling away some of the rubber. You can see like this part here was just right on there and I took a knife and split down the center and then peeled back the rubber. And uh, once we do that around the rest of the windshield, it should in theory just uh, pop out forward. We just got the glass out, came out all in one piece over there. 
There's a lot of uh, dirt slash sand slash rocks all in the channel here, but it seems to be uh, pretty good. Like there's no rust or any holes, which is good. And you can see where the uh, dash bolts are and how it is nearly impossible, pretty much impossible to get out with the glass in. So thanks Chrysler for that design. Um, other than that, looks pretty good. Gonna go ahead and clean all this out now. So last night we got the entire windshield out, got the old seal out, and uh, started cleaning up the channel here. So just kind of based off looking at it, they only put uh, some glue along the bottom, which does make sense because for the A posts and the top, there was this like kind of little rubber like strip slash seal that would lock in place. So I'm assuming that's what would hold the top uh, down while the glue would hold the bottom part of the seal down. So you can see there's still some glue left we have to clean up. Um, the top and uh, A post are super clean. Here you can see this is what we got to get to the entire seal to in order to get a uh, nice surface to stick the seal to. So just kind of use some plastic scrapers, scraping it, wiping off the acetone. And uh, probably within another hour or so here, this should be all clean and we can get uh, right along to putting the new windshield in. So we got the new seal all mocked up in the car just to kind of see how it fits. And I figured I'd walk you guys through and show you uh, exactly how this goes on the car. Because looking at it on the ground and uh, after opening it, it did look a little complex. But now that we got it on the car, it's uh, fairly simple. So there's multiple like little lips or grooves on this piece. And uh, this one here just clamps onto the metal like so all the way around the entire window. And then down here, there are, uh, where are they at? These little clips right here that actually hold the seal on, whereas all these guys hold the trim pieces on. So you can see uh, this groove here, which goes all the way around the window, down here, all the way across the bottom. That is where the actual glass will sit in place. And uh, then this groove right here is where this piece sits in. Now the new seal did not come with this, so we're just gonna go ahead and use the one from the old seal. It's not in bad condition at all, other than the fact that I uh, cut it yesterday while we were taking it out because I didn't realize it. But essentially it just goes uh, along the A post here, up, and then down like that. So we're not sure if you gotta put the glass in first and then put that seal in this groove right here or vice versa, but uh, we're about to kind of mock this up before we put it in the car and find out. So this is the new seal we have mocked up on the old window here, uh, essentially just so you can spread this uh, gap in the strip here enough to get the uh, urethane in between it. We opted to use old glass uh, just so we wouldn't risk scratching up the new one, but you can use either or. You can see this uh, strip right here is going to be the strip that goes along the pinch weld on the body line. So we go ahead and put the sealant along the uh, top and then the two A posts. And then for the bottom, we actually put the sealant on the body right here. And once this whole gap is uh, filled with the sealant here, we'll go ahead and take the uh, gasket off, throw it on the uh, body here, and then we'll get that all set in place and then move on to the new glass. So you can see we're putting the sealant right in this little channel here, nice thick bead, only up until, uh, I don't know, kind of right after the last dash bolt here, because on the seal, the sealant goes all the way up until uh, right here where this starts. So hopefully that'll all line up perfectly. Now we're gonna go ahead and take this off, toss it on the car. Okay, so the seal is now all in place. Looks pretty good. Now we're gonna move on to putting the uh, glass in. And the plan is to uh, get the glass in first and then we'll go ahead and take this piece right there, if it'll focus, and you flip that underneath this lip right here and it kind of locks the bottom in place. So there's no sealant on the bottom at all. 
And then once the glass is in place, we'll go ahead, take this, peel it up like that, and then put a sealant in it just all along like so. And then same with the A-post. And then we'll go ahead and put this uh, little rope seal I was talking about earlier in that gap right there. Okay, so the glass is all the way in now. We have not put the uh, sealant on the inside of here along the sides and the top yet, but we're working on this uh, like lock piece or uh, I don't know, whatever you want to call it on the bottom here. You can see what it looks like on uh, this side. So basically the part that's standing up right here just kind of folds down underneath in that seam. I'll go to this side and uh, show you what it looks like once it's all locked in place. So we'll finish doing that on that side and hopefully the trim should just clip in right over that. We're moving on to getting uh, this piece in. I'm not exactly sure what you call it. It's not the rope seal, but it sure looks like a rope and it's part of the seal. So that's kind of what we've been calling it. Um, you can see we got it all along down here in and uh, it's been pretty challenging, but we use these to kind of spread the gasket open and then go through and just uh, push this seal down in there. I definitely recommend uh, using a bucket of soap and water and just kind of putting it on there. It's made it a lot easier this far. And uh, once we get this put around the whole windshield here, we'll go ahead and put some sealant underneath uh, along the window and the seal right there. Okay, the seal is all finished up now. I went ahead and marked out all the spots where the uh, clips for the trim are. So when we go to put that back on, we know where to apply pressure. And uh, I'm just running a bead of sealant underneath the seal here onto the glass. And uh, once that is done, we'll finish polishing up the trim and pop it back on. Well, would you look at that? That looks sweet, especially with the trim, you know, put on. That just makes it, man. I don't know, I'm more excited about this than I thought it would be. Still gotta decide what to do with, you know, the old glass over there. Might just make some water out of it, but that's not the focus right now. This thing looks beautiful. And I did notice when we were putting it in, there is uh oh, where is it? Oh yeah, the Chrysler logo, right? I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's right there. So that's a cool little detail that they put on. We put the wipers back on, had to adjust them because this one was a little bent. Dude, I can't wait to go drive this thing and uh See outside nice and clear. It almost looks like there's no windshield in there. One final look at this. Man, that looks pretty sweet in there. No scratches or uh, bubbles to lock my view. That is so nice. That's gonna do it for this video. I hope uh, this maybe helps some people. They were looking to do the same thing because like I said, I know we could not find any really good videos that showed you the whole process. So we watched a couple, looked at some pictures, kind of pieced it all together, and uh, hey, turned out perfectly. So I'm really happy with the way this looks and the way it uh, turned out. The trim all laid nice, the seal went in nice, and it looks like a new car. Thank you again to uh, AMD for making this happen. Got some other parts from them. Uh, we'll get working on probably here shortly within the next few weeks, and then. Uh, Got something big coming for this car real soon, probably within the next month or so, and I'm uh, excited to share with you guys. It's going to be pretty sweet. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.